Yo, what's up guys? What's up? What's up? Welcome to the stream everyone. How is everyone going? All right. Is the music okay? It was too loud. Yo, what's up guys? What's up? What's up? Welcome to the stream everyone. How is everyone going? All right. Is the music okay? It was too loud. Okay. How is everyone going? Welcome to the stream. Today I have uh, exciting things to you know to to test. So, so let's see. Um, so first of all, I want to start talking about the um, the RPG series. So as you know, you know we got some really cool stuff going in uh, on the planification. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what are my plans and all that stuff. So what's up, everyone? Welcome to the stream. We are 50 people. That's a lot. All right, all right. So uh, let's get started. So I'm gonna show you a bit um, so the, the, for the new guys maybe the poll that we did the other day. Which basically got a lot of um, votes. So it was basically a poll. You saying, "Hey, uh, I'm gonna make a new, a new tutorial series. What you want to see?" And a lot of you guys voted on on RPG, which is basically the winner. So here it is. All right. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Um, all right. You cannot see my screen. Uh, <laughs> uh, display capture. Yes. All right. Yes. There we go. You can see my screen. Great, so here it is. Um, basically, I, I'm gonna move this other window here um, so I can see the chat and stuff. How is everyone going? So, basically, I want to kind of just explain yourself. You know, I'm gonna make a new tutorial series and um, what you want to see. And we got a lot of votes. So, the one, the clear winner here, of course, was the RPG. Now, I have been thinking of this a lot. So, um, we're gonna be doing. Oh my god, we have the nation. Wait a second. <clears throat> Wait a second, man. We, we got a nation. Thank you so much, John Rivers. Thank you so much for the nation. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. All right. So, what we're going on is basically, I was thinking of making an Assassin's Creed style of a series of an RPG, okay? So, of course. This will totally vary on what you want. So, if you guys want any other um, type of setting, of style, maybe like Last of Us, instead of, um, I don't know, Assassin's Creed, you can let me know in the chat and we can see what we want over here. But, basically, it is it has to be an RPG game, of course. Um, so, I will show you what I got in mind and stuff and we'll see what we can do over here okay so <clears throat> uh like the shark simulator <laughs> yeah so uh, a few months ago i did the game jam and i did a shark simulator and it turned out to be pretty cool um we did get in a in a pretty cool position so yeah all right so my god the thing is that i have now a vertical monitor and i cannot really see anything because everything is just so squished you know what I mean? So let me see if I can uh, fit everything over here. All right, so I think you guys can see everything uh, perfectly. What's up, Costa Gale? How's it going? All right, so um, let's get started. So first of all, let's talk about the the setting, okay? So of course, I was basically uh, thinking of this, of, of going in a setting of Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, of course, um, we can change that, but I think it's pretty cool. I mean, look, we have some quick so access over here. So let me show you. So wait, didn't have okay, right. quick so. The center. The thing is that we have some pretty cool. If we go into where is it? Uh, read more now. Where's the library products? Oh yeah, here. Mega scans. Browse. 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 Mega scans. So we have like, for example, if I search for cactus over here, we have some really cool models. Um, and then if I search for sand, you can see that we have some really cool materials. All this for free. So I think going into that area, I think that you know will be really cool. Um, so yeah. So that's pretty much my idea, basically. Thank you for uh, everyone that's subscribing right now to the channel. Really appreciate your uh, support, guys. So, um, so I was doing this morning some testings on the locomotion system, and basically we are gonna be building a generic third person uh you know template 
um, so then we can add on top of it some things. Now I'm gonna spoil spoil something, and is that we're gonna be using the Lyra animations, okay? So um, they're totally free, and we can use them, and they're great. So we're gonna basically be using them. Now, of course, this is only for the locomotion uh, aspect of it. When we get into combat, we will need to get some outside animations. Now, the thing is that I got some really cool sources where I can get uh, more animations for the epic skeleton free. So don't worry about that. And of course, everything that you know will be done in this series will be totally like with free assets and stuff. And of course, all of the assets will be only visual stuff. Uh, they won't be code. All the code will be done 100% blueprints. I will see that Alibans was asking about C++. Uh, well, in this series, uh, there's not, not going to be anything of C++. But, of course, in the future, I can do a beginner guide or series on C++ and etc. So, it will go ahead and depend on, on that stuff. Oh my god, we are 80, guys. That is so crazy. Thank you guys so much for the support, guys. Alright, so, um, so, I also wanted to get started a bit on the planification on what things we're gonna build in each episode now in terms of um length i don't know how uh long it's gonna be this series okay i don't know how much it's gonna take but i am going to say it's gonna be kind of long but not so long <laughs> so i don't know maybe 20 episodes but i don't know now in terms of length i want to keep the same length that i'm making in my current videos okay 12 minutes around now, there are going to be some episodes that I will need to go ahead and um, make it like maybe half an hour or 40 minutes if we get very, you know, into the inventory system or the AI behavior trees. So, pretty crazy. Petition to call the game Gorka Creed. Oh my god, that's actually a good name. That's actually a really good name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will note that down. Probably is a cool series. Gorka Creed. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone? Yeah, Costa Girl, I can do a game for you, of course. That, that's totally... Uh, <laughs> that, that's a great idea, yeah. So, uh, how can you bring uh, animations for Unreal Engine characters from another pace? Uh, well, there's a lot of ways of doing this. Um, one of the best ways is just migrating. Um, oh, thank you, Milan uh, Caracas, for the $2. Really appreciate your support. Thank you so, so much. Um, so... The thing is that um, there's really this tool on Unreal Engine which is just migrate and we can just get the animations from Lyra and just uh, put them into our project. Now there's a thing is that I'm gonna make it easier for you guys and I'm gonna export them and then just put a link in the description to Google Drive or whatever. Just download and then you can just drag them in into the content browser and that's it. So I will go ahead and try to make everything very easy for you guys. So yeah, for the new guys uh, coming in, we're gonna be making an RPG tutorial series on uh, on, on, on Assassin's Creed style game. Um, it's gonna be kind of set in Origins. Now there's a lot of reasons why I'm gonna set this into a desert style. First of all, I think it looks really cool and it's a change from always like having forests or, you know, or, or mountains. Normally in tutorials, I will use that kind of environment, but Let's go ahead and change it a bit into more of a desert style. Now, also, it is um, more, it is basically easier to go ahead and make a desert. Okay, it is way easier. Thank you so much, um, Giuseppe Raditi, for the uh, 99 uh, cents. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your support. Um, so, also with plugins like the landmass, we can make the desert procedurally so so easier than if we have to manually make a mountain, etc. And the thing is that. Uh, it is better performance as there's not so many vegetation or you know, uh, rocks or whatever and like I said Quixel um, has us covered so we have cactus and stuff now for palm trees I believe that they don't have palm trees they have like only little ones okay we have half a palm tree maybe we can use half a palm tree but no but I know another asset that was free that has some um, palm trees so we can fuse them together you know so don't worry about that. But if you want, you know what? No, no, I'm not gonna spoil. I was gonna say I can open the 
the test thing I was doing this morning about the locomotion, but I won't spoil. So tomorrow, hopefully, we'll have the first video, the first episode, where I introduce the product and say everything and stuff. Kind of what I'm covering right now, but in a higher level, I guess we could say. Uh, the setting will make large areas even more appreciated, secret rooms, special levels, exactly. Level design will be kind of easier um, to to design, you know? And we can get some really cool stuff overall, so yeah. Um, so, how to import characters from Sketchfab to Mixamo and uh, from Mixamo to Unreal Engine 5? Well, that's a really good um, question. I do actually have a tutorial on that, so if you want, you can check it out. I think I didn't do it uh, so long ago, but the thing is that you just have to um, rig it and then get the animations, drag it into the content browser. It's very straightforward, okay? It's very, very straightforward. <laughs> so, yeah. It's really like that, okay? So how can I make a countdown? Stay so you, you're saying about how you can make a countdown? So to stay working when the player quit the game? I don't really understand that, man. <laughs> could you explain a bit better? What's up? How is everyone going? Yo, 19. Yeah, I. Ah, oh, that's right. The Glock 19. We need. Uh, we probably just need to open up right now. Um, the game gen submission, and uh, go ahead and just import that, right? We have to make it clock 19, yeah. <laughs> all right, anyway, let's get started. And thank you all guys for your subscription and stuff. We are 90 people, nearly 100. That's so crazy, guys. All right, so let's start getting some things up. So I just said that we are gonna make a mini game on this uh, live stream, all right? So guys, please, uh, in the chat, start dropping me some ideas that we can make right now for a game. Now, I got to be simple. You're gonna say like GTA. No, we have to make something small that we can make in a few hours, okay? Just something chill that we can work on right now to um, to do something, you know, Unreal Engine. So go ahead and start putting some comments over there and we'll get started, okay? So also, if you haven't already, guys, uh, go ahead and join the Discord server. I did open it not very long ago. So it's a great way of just talking with devs and just starting to to um, to get the feeling of our Unreal Engine community. And you can go ahead and ask for help and show your work. And also, I'm there a, a lot, so I can go ahead and say. All right, so again, a few ideas. Ronaldo, yeah, we can go ahead and just do Ronaldo, I guess. <laughs> An FPS shooter, parkour. We have Breath of the Wild. Yes, we can totally do that in two hours. Uh, bug stomper, tank FPS, subway surfers, climbing mechanics. All right, Ronaldo again. <laughs> Something that exists. Yeah, that, I mean we can base up of already of a game. Um, see coins, metal detector, then they get up possible. That's a good idea actually. Like a hide and seek. Well, not hide and seek, but you have to search in the environment. Western style shooting gallery, that's cool. Something in the da dark forest, maybe a game shooter about something. AI Ronaldo <laughs> again, Ronaldo. <laughs> um, okay, let me start creating the project. Okay, and uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and and see what we do. So, let me let me just start opening the project. Okay, I know that the screen is right now black, but I'm just going ahead and creating the project. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, I, I think I will do a poll and we can I'll put some ideas that you guys are requesting and then It will be the, the final uh, opinion. So Go ahead and put all your ideas and, and yeah, so All right, so it was poll so what game should uh, we make all right so we got it was um, shooter we also got what was it Western shootout I don't know if I'm writing that correctly but whatever um it was also a solid puzzle game we can also do a what was it a type of I saw the comment before I have a type of um party game and 
I also thought uh, so I, I cannot add more more stuff or right, I changed one of these because I saw more of uh, what was it parkour Pub oh we can make a horror game oh yes like puppy playtime all right all right all right so I have you set the poll with a few of the um, of your petitions I don't know if it's out there we go okay so honestly I think a horror game will be really cool guys come on vote on that one guys that's the one they're gonna make oh my god yeah shoot their party game and then yeah okay horror is winning okay i don't know if if it's because i said you said it or you guys like it but i'm gonna start creating the pride horror will be very pop yeah i do agree it'll be cool <laughs> roblox doors choo charles yeah parkour horror game yeah I, th I think a horror game could be a great idea for today's live stream and we can add more things that you guys want yeah like for example if you guys voted on shooting we can add a cool pistol <laughs> you know so yeah so yeah guys uh, it's just in black because I am opening the pride all right and there's a lot of things on my screen that I don't want to uh, to share so <laughs> let's just wait a few seconds over here yeah I'll add the Glock 19 I guess yeah yeah I'll, I should punching game yeah I mean if party games wins all right let me start creating the so okay guys so I'm gonna create the Pride. Now, do you want to, to have the horror game because it's gonna win, like 60% on third person or first person? What do you guys prefer? Third person or first person? I guess third person, right? Like, we're gonna make a, a horror game, it has to be first person, right? Yeah, I, I'm Spanish. I'm Spanish from the Canary Islands. Third, first, <sighs> do I need to put another poll for that? Okay, I will end up the poll because I finish. All right. So, first person, third person, horror game. All right, last poll, and we'll start working. Okay, sorry, but I need to know that because in the chat it's really hard for me to see. First person, third person, because there's a lot of spamming. All right, first person is winning right now. By a lot. Okay, so probably it's gonna be first person. So, um, horror. Well, live horror game. All right. There you go. Go ahead and create it. Okay, so first person it will be. Yeah, if I use third person, I could use the. ALS, that's right. I can do a switch, yeah. But I think if we keep things a bit more simple, we can get more going. So the the product is just opening right now, okay? So just uh, two seconds, and I can start sharing my screen and we we'll start working on it. So um, I'm gonna finish the the poll because we decided. So now, what do we do? So I was thinking on we could do like an alien installation game. Where you basically are in a, um, I don't know, in a place, in an interior place, and then you have an AI that will go ahead and start searching for you and looking for you, and we can do all that with behavioral trees, and it can open doors and you can um, hide. I don't know, we can do so if you guys love that, okay? Zombie build game. I guess we could do uh, zombies and stuff. A maze game where a zombie is following you. Oh, that's that's a good one. Huh? Mommy's in the desert. <laughs> yeah. Killing aliens. Stalko type. Cool. So, yeah. Alright. Let's start just setting up some basic stuff and then we'll decide on what we do. So, right now we have a basic first person controller. So, uh, I'm gonna add some better locomotion to it. So, I'm gonna add some camera shakes when you move so it's a more realistic movement on uh about like the forest like the forest oh, i got you yeah um but the thing is that uh it would take a long long time to to make the forest even though we use an asset and then also make the AI uh, cannibals and you know so yeah uh yeah i need to share the screen i nearly forgot thank you <laughs> 
So right now we just got a plain first person controller that we can go ahead and just uh, go around. So what we have to do now is go ahead. Yeah, first love. Um, yeah, sorry about that, man. But you cannot spam all, all the day, man. All right. So what we can do is add, like I just mentioned, the head uh, camera shake. So it's a bit of a head bobbing, more realistic way. So what we can do is go ahead and just create a new uh, blueprint folder because the camera shake is a blueprint. Let's go ahead and just add a blueprint class. All classes. Uh, so camera uh, shake and it'll be the legacy camera shake. So BP underscore cam shake. Let's go ahead and open that up. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I will make my camera a bit smaller. Actually, I will add it here. Or maybe not. Maybe here. It's smaller because, yeah. So you can see a bit more what, what I'm doing. So, what we're going to do is add an oscillation time, maybe 0.25. I'm going to add some location. So maybe uh, 15 and a frequency of 1. And this one will start at 0. And then 15, so one, 15, one random, and then a rotation. We got a pitch, 50, one, and yeah, that's okay. Mm -mm, okay. All right, and now we just go ahead and open the first person. And yeah, I can add guns. Maybe next live stream, you gotta go at back rooms. Oh, you know what? We can do that today. I mean, what I had in mind was basically making a um, like an interior rooms with an AI following you and you have to get some clues and then escape. So I guess we can do that, you know? Um, exactly, John Rivers, he got, you, he knows what he's doing, you know? Let's start with something basic, a gray box prototype, and then we start adding more details, exactly. So when I start, with the main mechanics, okay? Adding some more of the locomotion, of the interactions, and then slowly we'll start with the map, the AI, and stuff. So, let's go ahead and open the first person blueprint. And, all right, so here we are. So basically what we're going to do is go into the event tick. So this basically is on every frame. And basically we're gonna make a branch. So we're gonna go ahead and get the current character's velocity and we're gonna get the vector length so basically it will be a float instead of a vector so basically if this velocity is bigger than uh, 0.1 it will mean that the character is moving so what we can do is go ahead and play world camera shake and it will be our BP cam shake um, and then the epicenter will be the get actor location. All right, great. So is this available to watch after the stream? Yeah, all my live stream will always be uh, available after the stream. So in radius zero and outer, we can do 200, doesn't matter, 2000, no, 200. Um, all right, so now it should work. So now if I, oh God. Maybe that's too much. <laughs> Maybe that's too much. Okay, let's go to here. So amplitude. I don't know if it was the other way around. The values. Things that is being a bit of time. So I uh, add this. <clears throat> here. A bit better. Okay, yes. It was the other way around. Okay. So I just have this one missing. All right, we can maybe make it longer. So, no, that's not. All right. We're gonna go ahead and add a delay. So, because this is on every frame, if we add a delay of 0.2, this one, come on, man, should make a delay. So, what I'm going to create, yeah, for so for the new guys over here, um, we are gonna make a horror game. So, we still haven't decided on what is going to be the horror game right now i'm just making a simple locomotion with the camera and stuff but um we are going to make an ai that will follow you around and stuff 
so it is definitely gonna be cool all right so let me go ahead and just finish up this so i'm gonna make it for around 10. <clears throat> All right, much better. So now we have like a small camera shake when you move. It's not very noticeable, but it is what we want. Right, so we can move on. So now what we're going to do is basically, so we already can equip a weapon, so that's cool. All right, but let's go ahead and get another weapon because that's a bit rubbish. So let's go into Sketchfab and get a nice looking model. So I guess for the honor of knighting, because he has been on all my live streams. We're going to get the Glock 19. Just because. Yes. So. Oh, no, man. Th there isn't anyone. There's only this model and it's not free. Okay. All right. So we need to get another gun. Should we make it shotgun, right? Or pistol? Shotgun or pistol? I don't know. I don't know what we can do. I mean, if we had a shotgun, it would be like uh, um, low ammo, and then you have to be careful with your shots. But with a pistol, you can shoot more, but they do less damage. Shotgun, pistol, another bow. <laughs> Let's do it. pistol, and then shotgun. So, what gun shall I add? All right, <clears throat> let's see. Pistol or gun. All right, so let's see. All right, so we have now, now this weapon that we can equip. So we will basically change the mesh once we got the new one. All right, pistol. Pistol is winning. I will leave it a few, a, a few seconds more and we'll see. Okay, so yeah, the, the rifle is very simple. You just add the component to it. Um, so then we have the pickup rifle, which that. And then we have the bullet that basically when it just uh, encounters a head over here, it will add an impulse and destroy the actor. Very simple stuff. So instead of uh, destroying the actor and adding an impulse, we'll go ahead and add damage into a health uh, system and stuff. All right, the pistol one. So we're doing a pistol. So pistol. Let's see which one we get. So I guess we can just get a basic one like this one. Oh, this one looks cool, huh? Look. Look at this pistol. Yeah, I'm going to get this one. It looks cool. So uh, let me quickly download this. All right, that's because I have to sign in. Put this over here. And then load the model. Hopefully it's an FBX. There we go, log in. What is happening now? All right, wait a second, guys. Wait a second. I don't know why it doesn't let me sign in. <coughs> All right, here it is. All right, now, FBX, great. So hopefully we don't have to toggle and touch it in Blender. We can just directly export it into the um, Unreal Engine. We are 100 people. That is so great. Thank you guys so much. Let's see how the... Let's see how the... All right, the audio is okay. There's not a lot of delay, huh? Pretty cool. Okay, so. So, yeah, thank you, guys. We are 100 people in the stream. This is so crazy. Thank you so much. So, I have just downloaded. Let me import it. I know that you guys are not seeing anything, all right? I know, I know. But let me just drag the FBX on it because I have a lot of files and stuff. And probably will spoil a lot of um, upcoming um, episodes and stuff so let me just go ahead and, 
and extract the package. So you're currently making a realistic survival game. Uh, any tips on um, UI and HUD? Well, I recommend using basically a lot of panels and uh, basically to organize everything. So I'll, I will show you what I mean in a second. Basically, you just have a lot of different widget components and then you join them all together and, and so on. So let's go ahead and import this. All right, now I can show. There we go. So here it is. And we have textures over here. So let's go ahead and apply the textures. Open up here. And we're going to go into the pistol textures. So this is the base color. And then we have the metallic. We have the normal. And we have the roughness. All right, let's go ahead and play all that. Let's see how my PC goes through the live stream. Hopefully it will be all good. Guys, push the like button below this video. Exactly. Like the video. Oh, we have gotten 200 likes. Thank you so much, guys. Let's see if we can get to 120. So, we have the gun. Great. So, we can see. Look how it is. Ah, looking sick, huh? Pretty cool. All right. Let's go ahead and edit the, the gun. So, <coughs> let's go into here. Let's open the, the blueprint. So, we have this code to mesh. Basically, we're gonna change that into the. the let me. Oh, this is a skeleton mesh. Why is it a skeleton mesh? We need to add a static mesh, right? It's gonna be basically the gun. It's so weird that they're using this a, a skeleton mesh. What? All right. Um, let's get the snapping out. Around like that. Maybe it's too big. I'll see. So this over here, and then the skeleton mesh. Uh, um, instead of deleting, I'm gonna toggle the visibility, so we can just make sure that the size is like a reference, you know. So there we go. So you can see that now is uh, we can pick it up like that. But now when we have it on the, on the hand, it is still not um, as as the new model. So you can see that we here have the. Um, add weapon component into the first person character reference, etc. Okay, so let's go here. First person blueprints. This is the component. Snap the target is the so basically it's snapping it into the mesh. But I don't see wait, this is the Projectile. All right, but I don't see where the mesh is applied once it's in the first person hand. You know what I mean? So we have this mesh over here. Maybe it's this one. I don't think so, right? Yeah, it's a bit weird. Yeah, the gun looks sick. Yeah, I think the gun looks pretty cool. Look at this. What is it? I don't. I don't know. Here. It looks pretty cool. Ah, like, come on. It looks really cool. Alright, uh, so where is it? Man, does anyone know where is the the gun uh, asset that is added into the, the character? Because I haven't opened the first person template. I always work with a third person template. It's just so nice. And the the first one I don't really untouch it, but but yeah. <clears throat> Come on, let's see if my PC doesn't crash in today's, um, all right, this, okay, here, adding to the component, okay, yes, but there's no visuality into this. <clears throat> in animations, do you mean like a notify? I don't think it's with an animation notify, honestly. Um, yeah, the game mode. The game doesn't do anything right now. It's, the, it's basically just there, staying. Uh, a revolver. Oh, that would be cool. Like revolver, and then when you uh, shoot and reload, it like spins like that. On a weapon blueprint. Oh, what? 
They have another weapon blueprint or what? See. <clears throat> Skeleton mesh. Weapon component. It's so confusing. Where is it? <laughs> I wonder what they want. <laughs> it's so confusing. Um <coughs> What is it? Thank you so much guys for your subscriptions. Really appreciate your support. So these are the animations. So also I don't know if we should get another animation or not, but look at this. Alright, so when you go here. Basically you cast the character. I say okay, so it is the character. We basically save it into a reference. And we add this. Oh here it is. Oh my god, I didn't see it. So again, it has not to be a um scale to mesh. Can I Ah okay it's done here? Yes, oh my god, what they have done. Okay, I'm gonna change the system. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and make our own system. So we're gonna have in the mesh here, we're gonna have the, um, the static mesh. I see what they've done here. It's gonna be the gun. Mm -hmm. Toshi game, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal por aquí? <clears throat> so the gun right now, we'll be go ahead and we need to add the. How is it called? I'm gonna change the name. So they just name it gun. Because I mean it's a gun. Alright, so down here, you can just drag it. It's huge. Uh let's copy the the scale on here. Great. Now I don't know if it was attaching into the hand or where it was attaching. But let's see. So in here it was adding it into the grid point. So it does have a socket. Grid point. All right, great. Wait, no. Here, no. Uh, this was the rifle. No, sorry. Here. <clears throat> so we have the grid point. There we go. And we have to rotate it like that. Have it down. So now when I press play, you will see that we have Alright, so we have this gun, and I think we have the other one, because it should be, where is it? <clears throat> yeah, so it's basically hiding there. So, <clears throat> I think that we can do is create a new socket for the mesh. So, let me get the skeleton, and you will see in here that we have the socket for the grid point. Um, so let's go ahead and create just a new one. It's going to be in the hand, so this is the grid point, alright? So I'm gonna duplicate it. No, actually no, I'm gonna create a new one. So create socket. It's gonna be the gun socket. And then what we can do is a preview animation. It's gonna be just in um, rifle idle. And then we can pause it. And then what we can do is add a preview mesh. And now we can find our gun. And we can put it over here. And now we can apply the transform into it. In details the scale and there we go and now we can put it ah, I'm seeing a thing is that the animations are for um, yeah they're for a shotgun you know what I mean all right we'll, we'll fix it in a second we'll see what we can do so gun socket All right, and this should be one because now the uh, transform is at the gun socket. All right, so now <laughs> why is it holding like that? So weird. Um, also, what is wrong with the camera shake? You know what? I'm gonna disable for now. All right, I'm gonna disable the camera shake for now. So we're getting the. Let's go into the back here. I see. All right, so. You imagine you hold the the pistol like a shotgun? <laughs> imagine if I had it like that. <clears throat> so if we call it that, it's a bit better. 
So now we'll go ahead and remove the this from here. So we'll go ahead and clear it. So now there shouldn't be any errors and we only should get yeah, the, the pistol. All right. Now, the thing that we can do is actually just put it in front of the player's mesh. But what, what I'm going to do is go into the first person arms animation and we have the idle animation here. So you can see it in here. So what I want to do is modify it. <laughs> now, this should be done in Blender or in whatever, but hey, let's see. So let's get a skeleton tree and we have to get the, so we can basically edit the animation like that. So for example, in this one, let's say that I don't want him. So I can just get the lower arm. Like that. <laughs> uh, let's see how we can place his hand, the clavicle. Basically that. Just hang in there, okay? And then the other, and I want him to add a key. So now this hand will be like this. But now we need to get the pistol with the other clavicle. And we have to put it in a way. Now, Forget about the pistol, let's center in the guy's hand. So, we can kind of put it like that, and then we can go back here. You can see that it updated. So, this is the gun socket. So, I think we're getting something. The gun looks very big, yeah, I know. <laughs> It is huge. Okay, so we're getting something. We are getting something, guys. We're getting something. So it is still huge. Yes, yeah, right. I just realized that. So it's hard to. It's, like, it's weird. It's, it's like big and like small at the same time. Um. So thankfully, we don't have to really put the fingers in position and stuff because it doesn't appreciate it. So be better. All right, so we're getting, uh, we're starting to get something. So also I'm seeing that. All right, so that's what we've seen. The, the, those fingers. Oh, that's right, because we haven't done the walking animation. I'm stupid. So we now have to, I can start closing tabs because it's not going to be crazy. So we now need to go into the rifle run forward, run. Oh, this one with the gun. Okay. Again, we have to get the clavicle. Like this, like this, a key, and then this, and like this, and like this, and now like this, and like this. Great. So now we are walking only with the right hand. So, will you give it a body? Probably not because honestly, that's pretty hard <laughs> to live it like correctly. So what I'm going to do is just directly just live it like that, you know? All right, so yeah, so we have the gun. It's looking pretty decent. All right, so let's fix the the shoot position so as you know when i get it i shoot the bullets are coming from another place which is not that one so we need to get it from that place now first of all what i'm going to do is import some um niagara effects so we can have some smoke when we shoot and stuff okay so let's see <clears throat> Let's go into here. Let me hide the screen because I will spoil a lot of cool projects that I'm working on. And let me just find the effects. This one. It, okay, so now this one was. So this is horror. Live game. Live at Pride. Alright, great. So it's importing into the Pride. So this is gonna be also pistol. Okay. 
Just remove bullets, they're very fast to see. That's right, we can do tricks like that, so we can just do the line trace and with the smoke and stuff. It looks like there's a bullet coming in very fast, uh, but we'll see. Is that a common technique? Well, normally, normally in games, they do appear and and stuff, but they're not, they're only for visual appearance. They're actually done with line traces, like invisible rays um, and stuff, but overall, they are, they are applied in, in games, yeah. Yeah, we can start actually making the... Let's go into the blueprints. I'm making a bit uh, here. The bullet, the smaller and stuff. So we can basically squash it like this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And then it should be another color. It should be here. The, the material. Let's see if there's a mini metallic. This one. This one, for example. A bit better. I mean, still. Oh, I did. Uh, I did it in the wrong way. <laughs> the, um, the forward axis, this one. Sorry. So we have to. Like this. Oh my god, what I'm doing to this bullet. Okay. Alright, the bullet, the size is a bit better, we have to do other things. So, what type of game I'm doing? Yeah, for the new guys over here, we're doing a horror game. So, <laughs> yes, horror game. Alright, so it's finishing, importing this one. Do we have already the... Um, Alright, smoke. Smoke pot. Okay, this one. So they're a casket. They're not Niagara, but it does the job. So let's go in here, and we're gonna add an arrow. So it's gonna be basically the um, uh, how we can call it a meter meter position. So basically, I'm gonna turn real time off so we can see this better. So I'm gonna go up here. And on here is where the smoke will appear. So we're going to use this socket as the position. So now what we can do is go into the project tile. Uh, actually not, it's not in the project tile. We'll go ahead and do so in the correct place. In the uh, weapon component. So on here what we're going to do is that when we shoot, a part of doing all that, we can get the first person character. And we will get the what we have just done, which is the emitter pause, and we will spawn emitter at uh, attached attached not location a location sorry, and then we get the the location world location and we plug it that in. It will basically spawn the smoke puff. I think it was called. We will probably auto release to make it a bit smaller, but now when I shoot, oh yeah, it was compiling shaders. I love this smoke, guys. What do you think about this smoke? I think it looks really cool. <laughs> Come on, why is 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 not compiling the shaders? All right, so this is the smoke buff. I don't like that it's Cascade and not Niagara, but whatever. I think they didn't put it correctly. So we have a lot of different smokes. Look, let's do our own Niagara smoke with the, with the textures that will give us. So we can have an upward mesh burst, yeah, I think. Actually, not directional burst. NS gun smoke or whatever. Yeah, I know. They were compiling when I press play, I know, but they always do. 
What is happening? It's so weird. Anyway, so in here I can go, and I guess we have some smoke. Yeah, now we have a lot of smoke. So let's see which one was using the guy that we're gonna use. So, uh, so where is it? So here is the material. So the material is like broken or what? It's very really weird. It's like not, um, it's not like not appearing. Uh, what are your speed specs? I am using um, GTX 1080 and 16 gigs of RAM and an Intel Core i7. So nothing very fancy or whatever. Honest, I mean, you don't. Also, you don't need these specs to run a real engine. But I'm noticing that it gets very slow in certain stuff. All right, I'm just gonna use a random smoke um, that I use. This one, for example. Let's see what we find here. I mean, if it's the same material, we might have we have. All right, let's just spawn a system, add location, delete this, put this here. So. Is, is this pounding or not? Am I going crazy in this? ETX 710, uh, yeah, I think uh, uh, UT 710 can run on Unreal Engine 5. I mean, really, it depends on the scene that it's gonna work, on the game, a lot of factors, but with some tuning in, you can be. Um, oh, I didn't select the asset. I mean, I'm so stupid. Um, NS smoke gun. Right? We just need the, the orientation to be fixed. So, uh, I was. Wait, why? Why is it spawning like that? Whatever. Imagine if it's spawning in a war position. What? <sighs> mm, the velocity is uh, here. Is it this? Or initialized particle? Time. It should be here. First, should be at Is it this? Sprite rotation. Wait, let's see. Oh no, it was that. All right, now I'm gonna make this bigger and less. So it's gonna be only 25, and then. In the particle size here from 10 to 15 to 11 to 20. It's a bit bigger now. <laughs> what is this? It looks like feathers. So weird. We got something going, I guess. Oh, tune in later. Don't worry. So another thing I want to do is that in the Praetor movement, should bounce, should be off. I mean, why are the bullets bouncing around? What is that? A bit better. Okay. All right. All right. So to start getting the field deployed, let's start doing the AI because I'm not going to move crazy. <laughs> so I start making the folder AI and let's go ahead and create a behavior tree. So. Uh, artificial intelligence, blackboard, blackboard data, AI. We go and then the we have a tree. So BT underscore AI, and then what we have to do is go ahead and create the AI controller uh, here. So BP AI uh, controller. And we have go ahead and open this up. So in the begin play, we'll go ahead and say run behavior tree. 
So we'll go ahead and select the video tree that we have just created. So then we have to go and check that the blackboard is that one. Great. So we can start doing some things. Let's go ahead and do a selector. And we'll have two sequences, okay? So we have the sequence of basically look around. Look around. And then we will go ahead and have another sequence of chase player. Okay, so when he doesn't see the player, he will basically be just looking around, getting a random point in the map, going to that specific point until it finds the player. When it finds the player, we'll go ahead and send a new blackboard data variable, type boolean, and then we'll have some decorators over here, which will trigger the, the, the change, and then we'll go into the chase player case if it's true. And then we'll go ahead and generate some tasks and we can start doing all the you know, stuff with there. So, let's go ahead. Sorry guys, if I cannot, uh, you know, read of your um, comments and stuff, um, but I need to get going. So, you know, can you add a melee shovel knife? Yeah, I, I, I started weapon. Yeah, we can add a, a knife and stuff at the end. But right now, let's center on the pistol and stuff. But we can see what we can do at the end and stuff. So, Exactly, if not, we can ask ChatGPT. So, all right, so uh, let's go ahead and create a new task. So I'm gonna get a new folder to this, it's gonna be tasks, and then it's gonna be BD task, look around. So we will need to add a receive execute AI, and then a finish execute. So AI move to, and then, this will be the spawn, and then the addition, a random, random point in reachable radius. So this node over here, we just get a random point. Get actor location. Thank you all for your subscriptions and stuff, guys. Really appreciate the support. Okay, so basically this node, will just get a random position on a radius, so I say like for example 5000. This guy has to look pretty much through the whole map. Now this is where the distance that will stop is okay for now. And then if it's finished on success, it will true. If it's failed, it will go ahead and be false. I'm gonna go to blackboard and add the text that we have just created, look around. And then when it reaches to that point, we can just wait for two seconds and be like, where the heck is this guy? And then we'll continue searching. So for now, as you may know, the black trees goes from left to right. So um, right now, because we don't have anything here, it will be no problem. So now what we have to do is go to blueprints. I create a new blueprint character. This will be BP underscore AI. Let's go ahead and open this up. So now we have to add a mesh. Now for this, I will go ahead and add it in a second. For now, I'm gonna add this guy. So he will be just floating around. But I will go ahead and import a um, uh, a third person character so we can have it. Okay. Uh, a third person cat. Yeah, the sound is okay. So what we can do now is go into the class uh, defaults AI. And then we have to change the AI controller to be to the new BPA controller that I have just created. Now another thing I'm gonna do is change the auto possess AI to be placed or spawned in vault. So basically, um, if it's spawned or placed in the vault, it will continue and get the nav mesh uh, data and stuff. So now we can go here into volumes and fetch polish volume, reset it, and we can make it 50. So basically, this is the way of rearranging of calculating all the paths that the that the AI. Um, can go and stuff as you can see so if I drag this guy over here he's a moving guy so uh, let's see so we, we don't have to do anything here because it will already be done on AI class so in here in the begin play it will already run that specific behavior tree now we'll go ahead and run this. 
So for now, let me just skip all this. Let's go here. So we'll go ahead and move around. So a thing that I'm doing wrong, I think, is the pawn. Maybe it's owner controlled instead of the other one. No, it has to be. It has to be this one. It has to be this one. Uh, let's let's print if it goes through here. Yeah. Hello. 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 All right. So why <laughs> aren't you moving, man? So it's going through here, definitely. All right. And I move to. We're getting the pound. Yeah, that's your location. In which data. Maybe it's too big. I don't know. Let's make it smaller. And then depending on the succeed, it will go over here. So now we just go ahead and look through the player. Oh, you know what? It unloaded the nap mesh. I am. <sighs> look, Unreal Engine is very good, but War Partition is very broken. I have to say that. I have to say that. It's very broken. Maps here. Basically, it unloaded the nap mesh. See, now the player is moving. You can see the AI moving. Cool. So let me go ahead and import the third person uh, template uh, just so I can have the mannequin. Okay. And now I can just go into the AI to the mesh and then change it to be the many. This will be minus 99 and this will be minus 90. So now we can go ahead and just put the ABP money. And now when he runs around, okay, we have to do a new animation blueprint. Great. So animation blueprint. Escape mannequin. A ABP AI. Okay. Also do a new animation blend space. So we can transition through the uh ai through the animation smoothly so here this will be the horizontal axis speed and then max speed 500 for now or well, 600 let's say and then we will get the idle and then the run forward so depending on the velocity it will transition smoothly between the idle and the walk so now we can get the AI blend space, drag it, and we'll also add the default slot. So later on, we can play animation montages. Let's go ahead and right click, wait the speed, and now we have to get the velocity like we did with the camera shape basically, but um, on the blueprint here. Vector length, so we have it as a float, and then we need to set the speed, no, set it in the update. So basically, we'll get the parents uh, velocity. <coughs> And just go ahead and apply it. So now you will see that I need to also apply it here. So the BPA AI. All right. So now there we go. He's running around. Really cool. So there's a few things that I'm gonna change. So let me start closing a lot of stuff because it's okay. So I'm gonna change the jaw, the rotation to be jaw to the character movement component. So it's with the desired location. Basically, it will just make it much smoother. So there we go. That's it. Bye bye, nighting. All right, yeah. So, so now we have a simple AI running around. So now we have to add some stuff onto it. We now the pound sensing. So there was just basically allow the AI to see and hear and stuff. For now, we're gonna make sight. So it is very. Um, Let's make it like 50 degrees, no, 70, and then around for now 800, 900. It will tune this later, it's just to test. Now on pawn C, it's basically when it sees the player. So if it is the first person character, it means that it is the player, so we can continue. So basically we'll get the AI controller, alright, and this will be the self. So we'll get the AI controller and I will go ahead and get the black. <coughs> so now that we got the blackboard over here, we can go ahead and um, set 
a value as bool. So this is what I was playing before. So this will be true. So the key name will be make literal name. And then here will be basically um, has, well, seeing player. So let me convey the name so it has to be exact. And then let's go ahead and open the blackboard. <coughs> I bool that exact name. There we go. <coughs> so I'm learning Unreal Engine. I've been using easy game development programs, RPG Maker, the term. I've been trying to push myself into two game engine. What's a good first game to try to do? Uh, well, I think a platformer is always a great way of just testing yourself when you're starting to make a game. So definitely if you can go ahead and just I actually do have a tutorial on how to make a platformer game, how to make your first game in Unreal Engine. So if you want to go ahead and check it out, you're totally welcome. But honestly, just simple games, very simple that maybe you just get a few points and then the game ends is a great way. <coughs> you don't want to start making a whole uh, battle royale or story game or whatever, you know? So yeah. Does the stream will be saved on YouTube later? Yes, the stream will be available later on uh, YouTube. Alright, so now it will be seeing the player. So now let's go back into the behavior tree. If it lets me open, this is not the behavior tree, this is the behavior tree. And now we can plug in back this selector. And now here. So we need to add some decorators. So a uh, decorator blackboard. So this is what I was saying before. We can basically look for a um self. Seeing player is not for available in the blackboard so if it's not seen the player if it's not said it will do this but if we are seeing the player we will go ahead and go to here so we will need to go ahead and create a new task which will be uh, bt task uh, chase player so now we have to again get the this one and then this one Execute, and then we want to do the AI move to, and then it's going to be this guy. I don't know, like this. And then the target actor will be the get player character. And then the radius will be pretty close, let's do 100, so it wants to basically catch us. And then on success, it will be true, and then on fail. It will be false. Great. So that's it. So now we can go into the where is it? Here. And then we can go into the chase player. So now he sees me and he's running to me. <laughs> Great. I can I shoot? What is happening? I think it's broken. So now he sees me, he's chasing me. Bing bing bing. So everything good. Now, there's a few things that we have to do as basically capturing us, the animation, etc. So let me quickly go ahead and import a simple animation of just catching the player. So let me just <coughs> put this in black. It's a second. Ramster. Of attack is for the all right. So we want to retire this animation to the new V5 skeleton, and there we go. So it's the uh, jump scare, I guess we got okay. I want to convert it into an animation montage, so we'll basically go ahead and be like that. So we can call it from the blooper. So in here on success, let's try to do it here. Let's go ahead and play the animation montage. So um, on here, I need to get the mesh. <coughs> mm. How can we get the mesh? Let's see. I guess we can get the owner. Yeah, we need to cast. Okay, so let's go ahead and cast to the um, AI, PPAI. And then we'll go ahead 
and yeah to here and then what we want to do is get the mesh and now we will play in that mesh and now it's gonna be the jump scare and I completed your finish and that's it so now when he basically goes ahead and sees me oh wait did we add the default I think we add it right and we should blueprint mm -mm. we have the default slot okay so it is not playing for whatever reason let's go ahead and make a print over here <coughs> so let's see if that's happening so where's the enemy I again it unloaded the, the did it unload or not oh here it is okay yeah so he's printing hello but <coughs> he's not playing the animation the casting from here I guess we don't need to get the owner maybe use animation mesh can I get directly the animation mesh hey come here oh no okay so you can see now he goes ahead and, <coughs> and starts doing that so another thing that we want to do is go ahead and face the the enemy once it catches you so goes ahead it catches you you turn to look at him so let's go ahead and create a new event it's gonna be um look at enemy <coughs> and then we want to uh, get the the controller and then set the control rotation so basically we'll turn the whole player at once so the new rotation will be a find look at load, uh, location so we'll find the position between those two so from the start it'll be from here so I'll get actor location and at the end uh, it's gonna be the AI so we can use get actor of class because it's gonna be only one in the scene I can just get this it's not the best optimum way but it just for this live stream it works so BP AI no BP uh, AI there we go and now we just get the actor location once again and plug this in. so now we need to call it from here so another cast which is not the most convenient thing but whatever so first person camera sorry character and this will be the get player character from the scene and then we will go ahead and call the uh what was it the, 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 the uh, look at enemy so now when it catches you always see him there we go you look at him great cool um so the ai didn't see us but i think it was just i couldn't see this so let's go ahead and continue this que buena sorpresa que sea español muchas gracias por todos los tutoriales muchas gracias verdu and sí aquí de, de canaria y bueno pues seguimos con nuestro <coughs> Um, hi, I was following your AI enemy tutorial, but how do I turn off the green spheres around the character? So, Table Shoe, were you following my um, easy AI tutorial or the behavior tree one? Um, because so, it's very simple, it's going to the line trace and in the bug type saying none, okay? It's very simple, but um, depends on which AI are you doing. Um, it's a bit different. <clears throat> Why you only have uh, 13k, you worth much more. Thank you, course. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm here just grinding every day, you know? So, um, right now the AI comes. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the damage system. So on the AI, we're going to go ahead and do the, <coughs> the event on any damage. On land or not. Any damage. 
if I know how to type. There we go. So, when he receives damage, we need to create a new health load variable. Minus. And then the current health. Now, if. And it's going to be the new one. So, if I'm going to make a branch, health is zero or less than zero. We will die now for now against destroy the actor well this is the enemy but later on we'll add physics and it'll fall and it will be much better <coughs> so could you translate spanish questions mm. Mm. yeah absolutely i will translate any spanish questions um uh, but that wasn't that question so on unreal engine so definitely if there's something important of course i will translate it too so you want to start learning on real what's a good place to start well honestly tutorials is the quickest way of just starting and checking out what is the game engine what can do and stuff and playing around now when you get to a certain point i do recommend getting a course so you can get a bit better at it and honestly spend hours on it <coughs> but tutorials is the best way 100 percent to start okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go and open the bullet, which is on here, blueprints, bullet, and then in, when it basically hits the object, you will get the, what well, we have head, and then apply damage. <coughs> and we'll apply like 10 of damage, something like that. And then what I would do is basically in the AI you sprint um, damage taken. So we can know later on what sounds or whatever, but for now I think like that will be pretty good. So Yeah, so we I did hit it once. So <coughs> you can see the bullet here. Is it, is it loud, guys? Is it loud? Am I hitting him? Yeah, it's a, it's a bit loud. Let's go ahead and, and, and turn it off. <coughs> so. Yes, sorry. I did the other way around. Thank you, um, the Zuma dev for that. I did. Made a mistake there. So. Also, I didn't, I didn't add a starting health, so let's do like, let's do 10. <laughs> one, he will receive one of damage, he will die. Okay, the bullets are going through him, so I think that uh, he doesn't have any collision. Collision mesh. I'm gonna put it in physics actor, so we have some simulate. Actually, I'm not gonna change this. So, simulate physics. So we have some ragdoll when it dies instead of uh, destroying the player. And then <coughs> we can see in here in the projectile, it should be other, right? It should be just auto. Okay, let's see, let's see. What's the idea of the game? Well, it is, oh, now it's calling, okay. You can see how there's things. So I'm dealing damage, but he isn't done it. Um, so we're making a horror game where an AI will chase you, pretty much like Alien Insulation or Hell and Aver. But <coughs> of course, very simple. So we have the health, we're decreasing it. If it's less or equal than two. Ah, this is so weird. Why it doesn't. <coughs> Let's bring the health. Are you sick? Yeah, I, I have been sick of it. Uh, that's why I'm testing my videos lately. Uh, the voice has been a bit weird, but I'm getting better. It's just a bit of cough left and that's it. What is wrong? Why is printing hello? It's not passing through here. Okay, <coughs> so we are actually not passing here. So projectile 
maybe it's no it should be other it should be other oh assimilate i'm so stupid <laughs> come on okay so if it's false it will go here it's because there was an if that if if it was asking that if the if the object had simulated physics on but in our case it's not for the cubes is for the enemy and he doesn't have it so now oh my god he just flew away um <laughs> so now yes it is working okay so let's put like 50 health for now just to to test this so where's the enemy i'm seeing that the the particles are in wall direction you can see that they're not in in local direction, so let me fix that too. There's a lot of things I, I want to fix about the. Um, can we use these smoke particles? Mm -mm. Smoke puff. <coughs> Why is it broken? It is really, really weird. It's pretty strange, but yeah. Let's go and open the... Um, what is it? Uh, Niagara system. I was in. If any deep blade effects. Gonna smoke. No. <coughs> Gonna smoke. Here we go. So, the cone maybe has to be smaller. Uh, where's the um, here angle? Like 10. So it's more like that. And then I don't like that smoke. Let's see if we have another smoke. <coughs> maybe this one. Let's see if it uh, doesn't lose that. Mm. Mm, that's worse. We have the outline. We don't like that. So let's go ahead and change it to this one. Maybe? I think it's the same, right? We'll put that the other one. Thank you so much. I just realized we have 158 likes. That is so crazy, guys. Thank you so much for the support that you gave to the stream. Um, let's continue making this. <coughs> okay, so. I am hating the particle system that we have right now. <laughs> it is so ugly. So let me just import another one that I have. And let's see if this one tree and works. So what was the... How was it called? Ah, come on. It's over here. This one. Bite it back. And now it begins just froze. Ah, there we go. Okay. Great. So let's go ahead and add it to the pride. Let's see if it doesn't make <coughs> take too much damage. Time, sorry, <laughs> damage. Wow, I'm crazy. <coughs> yeah, I know the bullet is coming out from the character, not from the gun. We have to change that. So let's go ahead and actually um, change that real quick. So we need to go into the first person um, component, and it is here. So when we shoot, it spawns an actor, and we have some crazy calculations. <laughs> so an Amos, uh, okay. A lot of ugly stuff. So what we can do is instead <coughs> is get this emitter pose again, and then um, we can plug it in here. And now you will see that the bullets are not coming. 
So, <coughs> so this is a forward vector. Okay. So that's weird. <coughs> when you transform, the rotation is still the one um, the camera rotation, but the location is that emitter. And it's passing that. And this will be an always spawn in operations. Now is that? So, zombie is still fast, I do agree. It is very fast, so I will change the speed in a second, yeah. He is definitely very, uh, too fast. But... <coughs> um, okay, so we are going ahead and making it transform, but it is not spawning there. Because why? Well, we don't know. <coughs> so, let's go ahead and just break this, split it. Spaces here and this here, and it will be exactly the same result, it shouldn't change. So, also, let me also close a lot of stuff. So, we have the projectile over here, which looks like this. We have this sphere over here, and we're gonna make it a bit bigger just in case we cannot see it or whatever. And uh, we'll go ahead and see. So, when I press play. This particles, the, the part, oh yeah, the particles imported. Okay, so here it is. So we go and smoke. What did I do? That's a material. <coughs> um, let's go to the map and see which one they have. Yes. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I know it's not the uh, maybe the most important thing at this point, but I do really need. So this to look a bit better because I, I cannot I can look at that it looks too too bad. So let's see. Let's see the simulate. We're gonna see the by the, by the way these ones are the the ones that I use for the um, Hogwarts Legacy remake that I did the video. They're the same uh, assets. Come on. <coughs> Is it not any fire? Oh, fire not, but smoke? I, I guess we need to use one of the first. So weird. Why is this one empty? Oh yeah, zombie speed. Yeah, of course. Zombie speed for now. We are not really on that face yet, so yeah. Um, there's not any cool particle here. Let's go back to the first person map. I will put smoke and fire. Yep, I, I, but the thing is that I don't see any, any of that. Because they imported like wrong. Look, we have for example, Fire hit, right? But they're broken. And say, oh, it's compiling. Yeah, but okay. I think the one that is broken is the the smoke. So we'll see. All right. So this is <coughs> yeah. Smoke is broken. So we have fire. I'm right, sorry about the cough, guys. Um, hopefully, you know, I'll be a bit better uh, better for the next live stream hopefully next week next weekend i can also make another live stream okay so i will let you know burst is what i want what <coughs> is this the one the one that i want let's see mm. spawn uh, emitter Location. Yes, I am Spanish. Let's put this here. All right. Oh, you know what was happening? The rotation. It was in zero zero. That's why it was not looking. I'm so stupid. All right. 
<coughs> What's wrong with the um, with the with the smoke? Can I can I look at the material? That's where is the smoke material? <coughs> Real Star starter. Uh, is it free? Look how many assets I have. Um, this is the first one or the second one? Oh, there's a V. Uh, I guess it's second. One. I don't care. Uh, horror. Okay, let's pour that one. Thank you for the recommendation. <laughs> nice smoke effect. I know. It is so cool, right? <laughs> I love it. Yes, I can use a, an animation not notify, but because it all happens really at one frame, I'm just using it here, honestly. But I can do so in the other part. Um, soy de Canarias, exotic. De Canarias. All right, so I, I, I didn't import. Here it is. Please, smoke. Okay, so we have a few things over here. Smoke. I'm gonna use this one. Let's see. Let's see what happens. All right, all right. We're getting some cool stuff over here. Let's make it smaller. Finally, we're getting something. It's not really what I was looking for, but uh, I mean, kind of good over here. So, oh yes, yes, baby, yes. <laughs> Finally something better so also gonna get the emitter pass to be a bit forward because it's literally on the guy's face and also i'm gonna make it 0.17 because still may was big and the rotation i want to get the camera rotation again so i'm gonna reuse this and put it over here it's cool but it it's on your face, no? It's a uh, <laughs> 0 0.07 Pedazo de acento en inglés <laughs> Gracias, sí Estaba muchos años eh, estudiando en inglés Ponme en español Capitos, eh, Lance ¿Qué tal? ¿Todo bien? Alright, so I think It's much better when you shoot, it's like on, on your face, on your eyes, and you cannot see. But, hey, I guess we can work with it. I mean, maybe we can edit here. E size by life. So, it has two points. Pff, I'm not touching that point right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a firework. I know, I know. <laughs> I know, but whatever look it works right it works okay great it works so not, not any problem um okay this is our like fires flame through i guess we can have flame for nah right now <laughs> all right so dead <laughs> he got obliterated by Gorky Games. Yeah, I mean, this is just a uh, placeholder for now. Honestly, I like that it it flashes on your face. It's like more realistic because you have like closer, and and it's like a disadvantage. Like you have to be careful, you know, when, when you shoot and stuff. I don't know, maybe I'm going crazy, but I, uh, the only thing is the bullet. It has to be more. Um, uh, how do you say? Impact more velocity. Let's go ahead and add it here uh, So here 3,000 let's do 7,000 All right, let's do 7,000 So let's get the weapon Much better Now let's go ahead and do one thing and is that We are gonna aim always to where the camera is looking so let me add an arrow. It's gonna be aim towards pause. 
But the thing, the thing is that right now it is shooting from here. Okay, the um, the arrows. But because the gun is at an angle, when you are with the camera, it shoots like across you. So we want to be shooting like from here, but towards in front. If I am explaining correctly. So what we want to do <coughs> is basically create this fake aim towards. So it will be always aiming at the distance. Okay. And it's just easier to do so with a socket, with an arrow. So we can go to Ventic and we can get the emitter pause that I will change the name into uh, actual bullet pause because now it's also for the bullet. So I think it makes some more sense. And then we can set the rotation, the weld rotation to be a, again, a find rotation from the get weld location to the aim towards pause weld location all right <coughs> so now that's it so now when i press play there we go i'm shooting forward now i think it has to be a bit up to maybe maybe up a bit because it was going very down and I'm going crazy and I have to do that whatever now right now is is uh it's going good great so let's add some blood effects blood so I don't know if it has any blood effects <coughs> let's see no guys any well maybe I have from the specs all right, so we have some blood splatter here. Is that is that blood? Oh yes, sir. So this one, what to do is go to the projectile, and when we apply damage, we'll also spawn emitter at location, and the location will be the uh, hit location. And the rotation doesn't matter. So now when I hit the, the enemy. You will see a, a blood effect. <laughs> it's very bad. Because it's just upwards like that. Doesn't make sense. But we got some blood in it. So. <coughs> <coughs> sorry for the coughing guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, um. Let's go ahead and add some sounds, okay? Let's go into free sound. Dot uh, org. <coughs> oh no no. What I'm entering? Good double e here. So <coughs> I don't like that shooting. It's very bad. And we want to know why they chose that sound. So let's go ahead and, and see. No. They're like from the distance. What? <clears throat> mm. Oh, I like this one. <coughs> this is the hit. But I don't want hits, I want the shooting. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get this, this sound over here. So let me real quick log in. And I can get it. <coughs> okay, so we have this one. <coughs> let me get it real quick. To load. Drag it in. I will show the screen in a second, guys. I haven't forgotten. Sometimes I forget, so if I uh, start doing things, it's like I cannot see anything. 
<coughs> go ahead and let me know. Okay. <clears throat> Could you do a tutorial about Fluid Ninja? Yes. I did one a long time ago in summer, but I can do an updated one. Uh, that would be cool, honestly. <clears throat> but hey. Um... Come on. You know, I have the my drive of the notes so full that it takes like 10 minutes to open the, the folder. <laughs> it is so weird. <coughs> but whatever, you know. Come on, open. Open, open. Let me let me show the screen while I can do other things. Um so we'll do play the sound stuff in a second. <coughs> but no look Milan the worst part is that it is an SSD <laughs> so imagine all my drives are an SSD but uh, look it's what it is we also had some footstep sounds and we will also start modeling the the map We got some cool shooting, I guess. Nothing crazy, but let's see if uh, now I can import them. Mm -mm. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Please. <coughs> if you have an update to an SSD, then get an M.2 and Vimeo Drive. Yeah, I need to get the fastest one because my goodness <laughs> no okay again Milan the worst part is that I have like what five drives um no they're very bad organized I have to admit that but um you know I have like Unreal Engine for one uh, the system for another etc so yeah all right come on now my PC is bugging like the my whole like my taskbar has just disappeared look Okay, now it's gonna crash right oh my god <coughs> Like I'm here. Look. <laughs> okay. okay, now it's gonna crash right oh no Um, what is happening? Why? God, what is? Oh no! Please, God, help me! Oh my God, is the stream up running or? Um <coughs> Oh god um, Are you Can you hear me guys? What? God, what is Please god Help me Oh my god, is the stream up running or Okay, so you can hear me kind of very like with a delay But you cannot see me No, you Can you hear um. me guys? Yeah, Milan the best way is to have another PC, I know but I don't have that Um like right now, I don't have. You can hear me, kind of. Very like. <sighs> what is happening? But you cannot see. <laughs> can you look up? <laughs> <laughs> no man, the the camera froze. Um. We got you. <laughs> yeah, Anton. Why is it black? Yeah, I have the same question. 
um <clears throat> it is crushing everything guys okay 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 so i don't know if i'm back alive or not i'm back alive wait <clears throat> oh, oh yes I don't know if I'm back life or not. <laughs> I'm back life. Yes. Wait. We're back. We're back. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't know if I'm back life or not. <laughs> We're back. back. We're back. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Guys. We're back. Sorry about that. I'm hearing okay. a lot of echo. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're back. Guys. We're back. Sorry about that. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna open the prayer. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. We are back alive. Um, there was a crash. Yes, there was a crash. My computer could not handle the streaming. But the thing is that it was working perfectly. Like OBS, Unreal Engine, and then it all went... <laughs> but I have managed to um, continue with the stream. So we'll continue a bit more with the horror game. I will want to get a bit of the flow going on. Hopefully everything is saved in the pride. I guess so because I mean, yes. <laughs> and yes, okay, so let me open the pride. <coughs> okay, yes, everything is uh, saved. <coughs> What's up everyone, how's it going? Can you hear me all right? Is the sound okay? Is there any lag? Uh, what did you change? I did not change anything. I just restarted my PC. And because, well, I have everything kind of good configured, thank God, I could um, get back to the same stream. Um, because I don't end the stream automatically. So thanks to that, I could recover the key and put it on OBS manually and then uh, connect back to the same stream. So, thank God. <clears throat> hey there, I watch your videos in a regular basis. Thanks for every card. Thank you so much, uh, Rene Manzano. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. Um, so you're from Brazil. That's really cool. I would love to go to, um, to Brazil one day. Um, so yeah. <coughs> okay. So it has just opened. Let me just set everything up. Uh, so yeah, guys. Sorry about that. That was you know a mistake over here. Well, not a mistake. I don't know how we could call it, but about that, uh, there was a crash. Okay. Anyway, we're back in business. We are from here. Everything is correct. And I was getting some sounds. So the sounds will wait. Let's start with the level design. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just start editing the level. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of all the boxes. Why is there this boxes? I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and select all the sentences and delete them. We don't need them, okay? <clears throat> now, the game will start here. So, what I'm going to do is get rid of this. And then, <coughs> we're gonna have some rooms. So, I'm gonna make this a bit higher, I think. Let's, let's see. Yes, it has to be quite higher. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still here, pretty much. <clears throat> it has to be uh, snapped. There we go. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, guys. Hopefully, next live stream won't be such a pain. Okay. I can get rid of this, this, and this, and this. Okay. So. This, and this, and this. We need to go back up. Alright. Alright, we are back 60. Okay, good. Um, so, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. The stream, they crash. Uh, don't really know what happened. Honestly. Everything was going perfectly it was when i started importing some sounds so <laughs> imagine but anyway whatever it's resolved so let's go ahead and put this over here and then i'm gonna get the, the floor duplicated and then this is gonna be the <coughs> roof so now we cannot see anything so what we have to do is at a pass passes and effect so this will pass pass volume we need to go into infinite extent <coughs> man the, the coughing um i know we just need to turn the exposure a bit up 
or down, sorry. So I'm gonna put a one one into anything but minus four and minus four. We'll start to lead up the room as you can see. And we even get nice fucks, so uh too much. Minus five. <coughs> now but the fuck. Um <coughs> I would prefer some volumetrics. And then Come on. What's wrong with the tint? Well, I should we can do it without all the metrics. All right, so you can see the fuck. So now, <laughs> is that a? <coughs> oh my god, is that a flashlight? Okay, to the player's um, to the player's weapon. So let's go ahead and and do that. I think we can end up looking pretty good. So here. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. How much hours do you go for a day? I don't know that answer, but a lot. Honestly. A lot. Maybe I don't know. I'm I'm the whole the whole evening. Mm, mm. Well, no. I, I, it depends on the day. Because you know I need to do a lot of things. But when I can, a lot. So, you know. Yes, I need to uh, buy honey. Yes, I, I should get some, some honey and stuff. Um, actually, I, I was going to buy yesterday, but I, I forgot. So I need to get some. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the gun. And then let's go ahead and add a light. <clears throat> it's going to be a spotlight. So, you know, a flashlight will be more like this. So, let's go ahead and put this like this kind of. Basically, it will be on the point tip of the gun, how you want to call it. And it will be with a. <coughs> kind of like this, maybe? Oh, yes. Oh my god, the brightness of the. It looks cool, and but at the same time, it's like weird. It looks cool, but weird. I don't know. Let's see what's happening here. <clears throat> okay. Get some saliva. Really? This is a uh, comedy pro. On. So, can you name them? Oh, you mean the. <clears throat> uh, so he said, "Sorry, man, I have." Oh, there's some low links. Um. Okay. Well, if you want, you can type the name in the chat. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. Okay, so. Let's see. So, we don't need to get. Oh my god. We don't need to get the flashlight when we don't have a gun on. So, what we're going to do is basically this. We're not getting a response, huh? Need to restart the PC or can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Oh, we're back. Can you guys hear me? Oh, we're back. Can you guys hear me? Oh, we're back. Okay, we're back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so my goodness, OBS today is very naughty. Uh huh. Very, very naughty. So if guys, if it crashes again, I will need to unfortunately end the stream because we cannot carry like that the whole day. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and continue. Hopefully. Everything will be calm and uh, any crashes. So if it does crash, let me know in the chat as soon as possible. Is there any lag or is it sound okay? If it does crash, let me know in the chat <coughs> as soon as possible. I think it's all with everything's okay. Okay. Good. 
All right, so now we can, when we keep the the weapon, the flashlight enables. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a UI. So there's like a crosshair. Okay, so let's go into um, uh, use interface with your blueprint. B underscore um HUD. So later on we can add the health and stuff. And actually we we won't have health. I mean. He catches us and the game, the game finishes, okay? So, there we go. Alright, so I'm gonna add a an image here. On the center of the screen. Zero, zero. Uh, let's see, so the brush will need to be... Maybe a circle? This one is perfect. Wait. Oh, man. Okay, so now... And real engine is crashed. <laughs> one is another one is another one. First OBS crashes okay, so two times. And real engine. Now on real engine. <laughs> one is another one is another one. And and the funniest thing is that I didn't do anything. I, I just applied a widget. <coughs> oh man. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, oh, this is so weird. Okay, we're back. Let me hide the this. So, okay, we lost the UI. Come on, we have to create now again. Add being hard. Open it. There we go. Camera panel. Image. Uh, circle, whatever. <clears throat> we have a crosser. We have a cross. <laughs> we can use a cross. Or uh, this one. Oh, this is normal material. No, no, no. Uh, pff, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use a normal one of this. And, and look at the DS. So let me just put this here. Okay. I'll make it very thin. So now in here, I can put like this. And then I can duplicate it. And then I can do the opposite. So. Like this. And then this here. And then point 0.5 here. 0.5 and then uh, 0.5 here, maybe. Okay, nice cheap um, crosser. What? What's my 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 gun? <coughs> what happened with the post processing effect? Oh, it, it, what? Okay. All right. <laughs> Typical UE5. <laughs> yes. Um. Oh, we need to add it to the to the player screen, of course. All right. So first person blueprints. <clears throat> yes, OBS and UE5. The the bunch is like the death. It's like the death combination, basically, like, <laughs> you know, so Let's see if it doesn't crash anymore. All right, so HUD Get player controller Um, And add to report so Now we have a simple crosser as you can see Pretty cool. And we can now aim. Oh, yeah, I, I noticed the difference as playing the game is much better to have this crosser. So we can walk through here and beam pam beam beam pam beam. Okay, so I will go ahead and add some lights on the top here. So let's go into lights, rect, and then we go, and then this will be like this. And basically they're like here. So <clears throat> This will allow me actually to uh, 
to have less of this less uh, post-processing exposure so wait I have two post-processing effects <coughs> okay so guys so I have two okay that's that was the problem all right I mean that was a problem sometimes it was it's a bit better guys or not like this or like it was before with more exposure uh what do you guys prefer <coughs> oh yes uh Gio, if you join obs v5 and then blender that's a nuclear bomb on there <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the the final boss, I guess we could say. Okay, so we can we can increase a bit the exposure, just a bit. What is it now? Here, minus two maybe. <laughs> final boss of Elden Ring, yeah. Okay, we have got something. <coughs> now, let me open uh, this Firefox. And yeah, let's look at the back rooms. And a bit how they, they are. Okay, so, back rooms texture. Okay, this one. So let me save it, okay? So yeah, someone later, uh, before in the chat, yeah, I have it just ahead of the screen. Um, exactly, can we get to 200 likes, guys? Can we get to 200 likes? That's the question. So someone in the chat, uh, when the stream was starting, um, suggested about the, the backgrounds, and I think it's a great idea, so I'm just getting a texture right now. Let's see if when I open the file explorer, this time doesn't crash. <laughs> so it was less time when it crashed because of this. Oh, it doesn't know. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. Just a second, guys. I'm just finishing and putting this. Okay, now we have it. Okay. So here. So we have here the texture. We'll create the material. <coughs> and now. <coughs> Okay, <laughs> we need some tiling here, but as you can see, we add them. So we need to get the texture coordinate. Okay, so it has to be bigger. So I guess like five and five. So basically the image will be uh, projected smaller. So I guess like this will be better. <coughs> Alright, we're getting something, but they're even smaller, so maybe, uh, let's go to 10, let's go to 10. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, there we go. Ah, that's the problem, here, that <coughs> it is depending on the size of the mesh, but you know what, doesn't matter. Now in the roughness, <coughs> we need to... this over here yeah a bit better now the floor I think needs to be a bit different on the, on the roof as well but we started to get some things over here let's put it in on lid so we can see <coughs> what are we doing here and again guys sorry about the coughing you know hopefully next stream I won't have it so much so let me go and there we go. Okay, so we have the walls over here. <coughs> so now we need. This is pretty much plain, I guess. Um. Yeah, let's do a plain material. 
M floor floor <laughs> floor floor oh my god we are so near of 200 likes come on guys we need to get 200 only nine more um all right so let's get here and again the same roughness only 10 10 all right <clears throat> so yeah this is just honestly taking time to oh my god this is like glowing <laughs> hey look we got we got the the backrooms vibe huh come on wait uh, it, it kind of looks like it who are you? <clears throat> Very easy for me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, I think I'm gonna do is split this wall into two, so it, it, the texture isn't so stretched. So let me just duplicate this and put this one here. All right. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and get this and duplicate it and put it in the other room so we have some lighting. On it too now the next step will be basically let's add some sounds so we're gonna add some footsteps hopefully now it won't crash <laughs> so um let's go here freesound.org great place to every game that know this place okay and it is to get really good um <clears throat> sounds for free that people just publish in there so for example we're gonna go into footstep <coughs> footstep and we'll find a lot there so I, I'm looking for one single, not a sequence, okay? So, <clears throat> let's see what we find over here. This one, this one is good. It doesn't really sound like metal. So, what what is the material? Carpet, I guess, right? Would it be carpet? On the back rooms, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, this one. This one, right? Ah, let's get this one. <coughs> yeah, I need to download it. So let me uh, get it real quick. <coughs> need to sign in. In the other monitor. I know that I have just had the screen. Uh, I need to open the downloads folder. Okay, hopefully it won't crash. We have got to 200 likes. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so this is the metal. Okay, so it's this footstep. Okay, so here it is, guys. So it's gonna be the footstep. At I think at the end it got metal. I don't know. I don't even know. Yes, I I, I didn't want that one. I wanted this one. This one sounds better, right? Yes, this this one sounds better. Let me get this one. Um, <clears throat> I love your videos. Hi Frost, how's it going? I appreciate that. Um. So let me delete real quick. I know that I'm not sharing the screen. Yes, a second. All right, this one. This one it is. So now uh, this is gonna be the first step two. Come on, <coughs> for the two. It's gonna be first step. So now we need to go into the player's animation and put an event notify okay so <coughs> you're the best youtuber out here <laughs> thank you man thank you cosmic games really appreciate that <coughs> you so great work thank you lc so what we have to do now is get the let's start with the first person animations and we basically have to get the <coughs> uh animations here I wanted to get the walking one. So in our case, it's walk forwards or run. No. 
idle jump land rough run. Is it this one? But we are not running, right? Okay, yes. So I guess we have to use our imagination here to see when it touches the ground, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> randomly put one here. Play sound. And one here. And then one here. No, okay. This one, no. Oh, hey. okay. All right, all right, we got, we got it, we got it. So now we get it. <coughs> we got something. So I think what I have to do is create an um, meta sound so we can change the pitch dynamically. So you will see what I mean in a second. So if we go here, meta sound, MS footstep. What I can do now is basically play a wave player in mono and choose the the footstep but i can basically randomly change the pitch which will basically change the sound like if we have different uh varieties of it so my for example from minus three to three <clears throat> so every time that i press play so i need to put this in out mono and on finish so now every time that i press play <coughs> If you hear it carefully, there's a small uh, difference. So now what we can do is just that one. <coughs> and it is just much better. Now we have to also go into the character mannequins, animations, money, and then <coughs> run. And here it did it better for us so we have now the the feet on there so ms medicine <coughs> and now we can just go ahead and just put it <coughs> over here what is doing okay so There we go. So now you hear it working. The thing is that we only want to hear it when it's near us. So what we can do is create a 3D uh, sound attenuation. Basically make the sounds in uh, 3D. Uh, also guys, I'll respond all the chat comments in a second. I just want to get things done because now I will never end. Anyway, so what we have to do is go to sounds, attenuation, SA. And it's gonna be for the uh, honestly just the uh, character itself because honestly I was gonna do only for the footsteps but we want to get one for the character so it's gonna be around from 200 to 2000 and then we have to go into the meta zone go into source the donation and then we can pass it on And now we can only hear when it's close to us. Now it's <coughs> too high, so maybe 1500 will be a bit better. Yes, you can now hear a bit. And now I'm gonna uh, decrease <coughs> the volume because it's uh, extremely high. So the first step itself. So let's make it like point three. That really didn't change anything. Anyway, let me create a folder called audio. Ah, I already have one. Uh, well, a new one for the first step. Steps. Put this, this, and this, and this on. Audio. Except for this one which will be wait what didn't create a new one. this is okay doesn't matter <laughs> okay anyway 
Um, UI will go the let's organize this a bit, you know. The widget jump scare will go in characters. <coughs> um, and okay, it's, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so let's get this. Now we can see the guy. He will go for us. So let's also go ahead and play a sound when he sees us. So let's go ahead and find a jump scare. <clears throat> Oof. Look at that sound wave. I'm definitely not playing because I would blow your ears. <laughs> like... <laughs> that one's good. Oh, this one is really good. This one, this one, this one. Um, <coughs> let me get it and load it, right? Uh, this one and also this one. So we'll get these two sounds. Okay, so it seems that the stream is now working better. It's not crashing. I am happy, I am happy. <laughs> okay back here so this is the jump scare this is the sound itself what and this is um scare <laughs> this is just scare i don't know what is happening anyway that doesn't matter let's try to report it Whatever. Okay, so we're gonna get the jump scare and we will play it when the enemy plays the animation. So what we can do to reuse the animation always. Actually not. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and do it from here. So we're here. Wow. When it's gonna go ahead and, and say your thing. Play sound. And it's gonna play the jump scare. And then what we can do is that when it sees you, <laughs> we can play the other sound, which is just a simple... Um... Oh, yes, 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 yes. So let's open this up. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, guys. <coughs> so here, we can play. Now, I think it would do <coughs> do it um a lot. Also, wow, it would be cooler if we played in 3D, so... Like it comes from the enemy. Play sound. This mic stand is. <laughs> I cannot see. Scare. Get actor location. And then we can put the sound animation here. So now when it sees me. Come on. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, <laughs> we got a uh, over here. <clears throat> water, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have my water here. Don't worry. <clears throat> um. So, yeah, I know, I, I know. No man, it's because I'm um, I'm um coughing much because uh, I have a cold and stuff. But hopefully for the next live stream will be better. Anyway, so this is doing a lot of times, so we can just do it once. Do it once. And then... That's it. <laughs> we'll do it once. And now when the, the jump scare occurs, we need to finish the game. So another thing I'm going to do is go into the AI. Um... Blackboard, no, in task, uh, yeah, chase player. So when it chases the player, you also get the player and disable all of the inputs. So we kind of move, okay? And then the game will finish. So get this. Then he will be running. 
He's just me. Okay, we got something going. Let's see how it is a bit. If he falls us. Bro, how did you not see me? <laughs> cool, cool. And then what we would do is that, well, he will not attack again. So. <clears throat> We will never finish the execute. If we do that, will it stay still? I think so, right? Oh. Yes. Okay, so another thing that we have. What is wrong with that? Uh, another thing that we have to do. Uh, thanks for all the free tutorials. My pleasure, Gurt. My pleasure. Um, I know a lot of people have said in the chat, yeah, about the honey. Um, yeah, are you sugar, water? Yeah, I, I will see. I will have some honey or whatever later. Um, but yeah, but like for example, yesterday or before yesterday, I was I was um, <coughs> I was worse than today. So yeah, share your progress in the Discord. Yeah, absolutely. I will, later in the last stream, I will put some links in the Discord so you can guys see about my progress and stuff. Anyway, uh, how much time will have been life? Already right, two hours and a half. Crazy. Okay. So we'll continue a bit more. Um, so we have this where I can get a gun. <coughs> I go to my player. And then he sees me and, and the game ends. So on the hard, what we're going to do is a fade animation, okay? So here, get the image. It's going to be the fade. And then we want to set it to be the whole screen. And then it's gonna be basically dark, and then the opacity will be zero. So go ahead and do an animation. It's gonna be the fade. Oh, die! It's gonna be just die. What's up, Anton? What's up, Cheesy? How is everyone going? If you want, you can ask me any questions, guys. I, I you know, before I, I said like, um, I will answer a, a bit later. But you just go ahead and put them, and as I go, I'll uh, ask them. Anyway, so we have to add the fade, and now we have to keyframe this, and then it will take a second, and we will basically put it to be like this. <clears throat> so it'll be basically a fade like this for now. So, <coughs> so now what we have to do is open the the graph, which there we go, and we have a new custom event, which is gonna be basically <coughs> um, play die fade I guess we we'll say and then what we have to do is get the die animation and then play animation and that's it and now from here we can go into the task and then this is not the best place to it. we should do it all in the player which is like the death screen but doesn't matter and now we can say yes um, what was it play? I want to get the HUD, so we need to actually reference to it. So, in here, we need to mount a variable be the HUD and then <coughs> put it here, here, here. Okay, so now on here, <coughs> we can get the HUD. And then we can say the play die fade. And that's it. So I'm making AI with a different model <coughs> and animation. Should I just make a new one or is it uh, well to go a bit? So there's this child uh, system in Unreal Engine where you can go ahead and right click and then create a child blueprint class. So basically, you have a copy of it, but if you make any changes, from the original parent that will be automatically applied and the only thing that you can change in the child is the mesh and that's it so that's a way they can do it um so we'll play the fade so now if i go here the fade is enabled that it started that's weird designer fade oh yes it was now we don't have any fade, right? We get this. 
great. I like it. Do you see that fade? So now <coughs> uh, I don't have any water left. I need to get one. Uh, so now what to do mm, is just go ahead and um, <coughs> uh, make the enemy see us a bit better because my goodness, he's blind. <laughs> Let's go into the pound sensing. And it's already reduced, sorry, uh, angle. <coughs> what is it? Here. I'm gonna make it 90 degrees. Okay. And I'm gonna increase it into be 100 and 300. <coughs> sorry, 1,300. So now he should see us a bit better. Yeah, yeah, okay. Wait. Now we have to do a bit of uh, better level design over here. So now they're gonna do is that you equip the weapon automatically when you enter the game. In two hours, you do what I make in three weeks. <laughs> well, I don't. I mean, you know, there's not so many things here. It's a simple AI <coughs> level design and sounds and stuff. But you know, nothing. Uh, so my question is: Too long for YouTube? Do you mind checking your materials channel in the description? Uh, yeah, of course, of course, kids come. Of course. Uh, later on, I will pass to Discord and answer. I normally do so. And the things that you know, some days I'm very busy, so maybe I kind of pass uh, through the problem and help channel so often but i always try to and also respond on the comments in youtube of course so yeah i'll, I'll pass through later in the stream <coughs> so it will be a nice hard game just playing doom 3 and got it yeah i haven't played doom 3 in a while <laughs> um <coughs> so there we go so what I was gonna make uh, yeah, a bit better the level design so Basically, we will start a bit more behind Over here and oh, I, I hate this message. All right, and we'll go ahead and add a new basic cube into the scene and this will be our stand to hide Okay, so here we, we can basically go ahead and hide so this is like our our first first point over here and that doesn't look good. Let me just <laughs> reset the level. Let's go here. Okay. It looks out those. Hmm. I don't know how it looks. Let's see what we have here. Props. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. Uh, so we have a table. We can put like a dining room and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I'll do so. Um, so guys, we're gonna get some water, <laughs> okay? And um, I'll be back. Uh, wait, I'm so gonna. Be... Oh yeah, uh, Mesa Felix, are you also gonna do the backgrounds game? It's really cool. I used to learn uh, to use C plus plus in Unity Five. That is a great achievement. It is one of the hardest things, as when you start out with C plus plus in Unreal Engine Five. That's so crazy. Bro, been live streaming straight for 2.5 hours plus. Yeah, yeah, harsh. That's right. I am dedicated to this. <laughs> no, I, I just love, you know, here to be uh, with you guys hanging out and <coughs> making these games. So, let me get some water and... Uh...
All right, I'm back. So guys, I will be only, uh, you know, a bit more and I will go because the coughing is a bit, uh, it's a bit more and stuff. So I have to relax a bit the voice, but yeah, it'll be a bit more. So it will finish it a bit on this living room over here. So we have some <clears throat> like coffee tables over here. Have some chairs. Got to rotate this. <clears throat> go and then we will have another chair over there a table like this and then another one here <laughs> in the darkness I will get rid of this <clears throat> and then <clears throat> we can add a Coach over here. And yeah. Maybe another one here. <laughs> nice power screen. You like it, huh? You just earned a subscriber. Thank you so much, my effects. I really appreciate the support. Take care of yourself, bro. Yeah, harsh. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I just need to um, <coughs> drink water, maybe a bit of honey. Oh, good. So by the way, in third person, uh, my pred, how do you make the bullets actually fly towards the crosser? It shouldn't straight forward to... Yeah, so basically, what I did, which is a really simple trick, was to create this object in the scene, where it's just in front of the player, a bit upwards, and then this is the bullet position, so the bullets go from here. So what I did is this a bit of code that the bullet position will basically always be always look at this specific location so it isn't exact 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 but it will be aiming towards the the cross the the crosser yeah so that's how i did it but there are many ways and this is one of the fastest way of doing so okay <clears throat> do you have a tooth on how uh can make one of that uh what do you exactly mean on, on one of that? <clears throat> you know? Alright, so yeah, we have a few tables over here. I think that helps the environment. And we will do one more last thing today. I'm gonna make a <clears throat> I'm gonna make the um, I think that you can hide, which is gonna be the um, how do you call it? The um, <coughs> how do you call it? The thing that you hide. Um, like what was it in, in the high schools? The, the lockers. The, the locker. The locker. All right. <clears throat> so gonna make a new blueprint. <coughs> locker. I'm gonna quickly make one. So here, gonna be the floor. Get this out. So you can basically enter the locker. Is this uh, size correctly? Oh, this is pretty small. A, a bit bigger. So 1.5. <clears throat> Yeah, that's better. And then duplicate. Over here. I'm just making a quick one, okay guys? In next live stream we'll go ahead and you put probably a um a model. This is just uh, to get something going. So this and then like this. <clears throat> And then this will be basically when you enter. It will be basically the locker. And we can do it like this so it's like it is opened. You know what I mean? And then we just need to duplicate this so it will be the, the roof. <sighs> it's so annoying the jump scare sound. 
There we go. <laughs> so <coughs> now we can just go here. And you will enter the, the stuff. So we will go ahead and add a collision. <coughs> Spirit collision. Radius. It's going to be the radius that you enter. And basically, if you enter this point, it will be a lot. So we will go ahead and quickly create a new interface so we can interact with it. So BPI interact. So later on, we can use it for more stuff. And it's going to be interact. So now what we can do is add the interface into this specific object. <coughs> and then BPI interact. And then here we can just add the functionality. So we will go ahead and have the scout to mesh of the player. So many inside. So we'll basically teleport the player inside, as you can see. So this will be basically the, the placeholder. So we can see the location and where we're going to teleport the player. And then what we want to do is get the player. Uh, so cast to first person character get the player character and then I'm gonna set actor uh, location and to rotation so here it will be facing the the forward of that skeleton mesh so get transform Actor. Oh, well, wall transform is a socket. Wall transform. And then what we can do is just split it and we can get the location and the rotation. I can do it teleport. So now what we can do is in here on the player, when we press the E key, <coughs> we can just uh, make it for each loop of the objects that we are overlapping. So we can just do a simple thing, which is has, well, no, sorry, implements uh, interface. So if that object has the interface, we will go ahead and interact. So we will go ahead and do interact message. And now we should be able to enter. There we go. I think it has to be a bit higher. The rotation didn't place, but anyway. And now what we would do is basic control. We are inside already, so it's inside. <clears throat> and then if we are not inside, we will do one thing, and we are. So if we are not inside, <coughs> so it's not true, not boolean, we will hide. But if we are already inside, <coughs> we will get an exit point. So duplicate this, put this guy here, and this will be the exit. So we will do basically exactly the same, but with the exit one instead. And of course, we will need to set inside to be true. And here, false. So now you will see. Okay. Now he will still catch me because we have not said that he cannot catch you when you're inside. But I can enter and then I can exit. So everything is working. <coughs> All right, guys, so I'll be ending this live stream here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got a few things going on, so really cool. So I will try to make one next weekend. Again, I will continue in this game and improve it and stuff. And there's a lot of things that we can add into it, so let's see. Um, also, uh, very soon I will start the RPG tutorial series. So, you know, going ahead and Stay tuned for that. 
hopefully tomorrow I will post the first episode, which is intro uh, introduction into the series. If not, it will be out in Tuesday. So, let's see. ¿Qué pasa en la Amazona? ¿Qué pasó? El backroom, sí. El backroom aquí. Well, so that's it, guys. Um, hope that you enjoyed the live stream and <coughs> hopefully my coughing will get a bit better for the next live stream and uh, see you soon so bye bye guys love you thank you all for the support 200 likes thank you so much we'll see you later